Hey guys, um, Mr. Fan again with our second installment of Rhythmic Analysis for Stolen Moments. Um, in this video, we are going to be covering Staff Line 3, which is the measures 5 through 8 of Stolen Moments of the Melody. 5 through 8 of the Melody. So, you can see the arrow here. I'll have this copy um, in the assignment clearly label with that arrow so you know which four measures to do. We're just going to do four measures in this video to here. So one, two, three, four. As always, you are to rewrite them here. I have minus the, uh, clearly there are no pitches. This is just for a rhythmic analysis. So I've just taken the same rhythm that you see in those four measures, taken off the pitches for now. And um, rewriting the rhythm over here so that I can analyze it. Now, before we go into that, um, we're going to have another quick lesson, quick mini lesson into um, quarter notes. But this time, we have all know that quarter notes, you know, easily fall right on the downbeat, right with the beat in 4-4. We're covering quarter notes on the upbeat today. So, um, really quickly, just to get started, here you have the typical two measure um, rhythm of quarter notes, consecutive quarter notes, right on um, right on one here. And so if we counted it, if we went one, two, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you notice how every the the downbeat comes first the number on the count comes first on the downbeat and every time this to say the the eraser hitting the table um represents the downbeat so it's one and two and three and four and the pencil up in the ear representing the upbeat one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so if i did it without a count just so you can hear it it would sound like this one and two and three and four and okay so we've come to quarter notes on the upbeat which displaces the quarter note by usually by like a half of a beat it still worth one beat and um but the difference is those quarter notes are long on the downbeat so if i counted it um these are just consecutive quarter notes on the upbeat now i had to um make this i made this arrest purposely because that's the downbeat and so notice how the first quarter note is coming in on the upbeat of one. See? So this is just the downbeat of this is a downbeat of one, upbeat of one, downbeat of two, upbeat of two, downbeat of three, upbeat of three, downbeat of four, upbeat of four. And remember, this arc here that ties the note. So that ties it adjoins the value of these two together. So you have two single eighth notes. Half a B each. Half plus half is one. Okay? So this is on the upbeat of one or up excuse me, the upbeat of four and then the downbeat of two. And then it continues on again in that same pattern. Upbeat of one, downbeat of two, upbeat of two, downbeat of three, upbeat of four, downbeat of four, and then the upbeat of four, single eighth note at the end. So, again, just to go back just so you can hear the feel, I'm going back to the quarter notes on downbeats real quick. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. See how that, um, lands right on the downbeat each one of those right on the count on the number one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now if i did the eighth notes on the upbeat it would sound different with the feel would be on the upbeat 
the 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 the, the, the strike or the, the you would play the note on the upbeat. So it would be like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now they all come on the ends of each beat, the upbeat. See? This would be one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Sorry, I'll try to do it again without moving the table. As always, I'm trying to do these with both hands and I'm not and do multiple things at the same time and I'm not coordinated. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and try clapping that. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Alright, not to be confused with one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you're playing your <coughs> you're playing the quarter note on two opposite sides of the beat. The quarter notes on the counts are the down beat. The quarter notes on the ends are the up beat. Okay? Now that we have that established, we can go into our rhythm analysis. As always, I am only doing the first measure for you. Um, actually, I'll do the first. I'll do the first measure and a half, considering that tie just um, here. I'll do the first measure and a half, and then the next measures are up to you. So, first in the measure, the first measure we have an eighth rest. First character in the measure. That's always one. Okay, half a beat. Single eighth note here. That's the upbeat of one. Two consecutive eighth notes starting on the downbeat of two. And then the next one is and, followed by another eighth rest. You put that on three. Okay, now here we are. That quarter note, if this is, if the rest is on the three, is right on the downbeat. This obviously the next one comes in on the what? The upbeat. Okay? And it holds its worth a full count. So that's one half and the other half would be the downbeat of four. And then you hear you have that last upbeat. Okay? Alright, and then just moving on really quickly and then I'll go back and clap this out. Um, you have two consecutive eighth notes, so this would be one and, okay, and this is also tied, this is tied to a full count of two, alright, so that's a join, so this is right under here, that makes two alright, so if we were to clap this out, one and two and three, one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And, and, one, and, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, without the count this time, one, two, three, four, one. All right, again, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. With the count this time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. See how that goes? One last time before I move on. One and two and three and four and. Alright, now we move to this one. This would be one and two. One, one and two and. One and two, one and two and. So if I put it together, it'd be 
1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and so without the count 1 2 3 4 1 all right so what I want you to do is rewrite this out practice this down here first we re, re, uh, rewatch the video for the downbeat and the upbeat practice it a couple times so you get it under your fingers your understanding of it and then move on to the analysis once you're finished with the analysis all the way through these four bars measures five through eight of the melody that is staff line three please submit it and then we can move on to the next part all right guys thank you